Okay, so I get this question a lot too. A lot of, a lot of uh, questions that are popular here. People get antsy and they wanna know how long is it gonna take them to become a network engineer? How long, how long does it take to you know, get your CSINT, get your CCNA, get your CCNP, and actually fall into the role or grow into the role of a network engineer? Like a lot of questions along these lines, it depends, it really depends. For me, it took, before I would really consider myself like an engineer, someone who not only knows how to you know, get in and configure a basic router or a switch configuration, but knows how to troubleshoot and actually design a network that works. I'd say it took me about three years before I felt like I was an engineer actually designing something. Now, what, what, what did that involve me doing? Well, I was, first of all, I was studying a lot. I was studying like crazy and I was also working crazy hours. I mean, you, you can ask my wife, don't, don't ask her, she'll get angry about it. But she, I, was, I was working late nights. I was at data centers doing stuff. I was studying a lot. I mean, it was, it, was, it was a lot of work. That's when I considered myself a network engineer. Now, a lot of you, when you ask that question, how long does it take to become a network engineer? You're probably asking, how long will it take for me to get my certifications and actually get into a role where I'm, I'm working with network stuff? That depends too, but I would say it won't take you very long if you do the right things. The typical path you'll take from, uh, from zero to network engineer will be finding like an entry-level help desk position, right? And there you're not gonna be doing much networking. Uh, you'll be dealing with PC issues and people calling in and it'll be basic stuff, right? Nothing serious. What you're wanting to do is move up from that help desk position to the network admin or junior network admin or network engineer position. That I think will not take you very long at all for me to go from just PC troubleshooting to working with Cisco router stuff. It took me about six months. Now, how did, how did I do that? Well, it's, you know, it's pretty simple guys. Um, first of all, be studying and be very vocal about your studying. So what I mean is that I was working on my CSENT and then later my CCNA. I let everyone know I was working on it. I let the network admins and network engineers know I was working on it. So yeah, I was on the help desk, but I was doing everything I could to get my hands on network engineering stuff. So the network admin of the company, I was, I was his shadow, man. I was on him. Um, when they would have maintenance weekends, which they do, because you can't you can't make network changes during the day. People go down and all hell breaks loose. So no, they do the things. Uh, they do big changes, you know, router upgrades, um, installing new routers, things like that over the weekend. I would stay. I would stay late. I would go with them to the data center. Uh, no, I wasn't getting paid for it. It was pretty much volunteer work, but I was getting a ton of value out of that. I was learning. They were seeing the effort I was putting forth. So when it came time that they realize they needed help, who are they gonna to turn to? This guy, the guy who's been helping them, the guy who's shown interest, who is working hard. So how long it's gonna take you to become a network engineer really depends on how much time and effort you're going to put into this. If you're just studying for your CCNA, spending a few hours a night, uh, but you're not putting any effort in like marketing yourself or getting yourself into a good position to uh, uh, actually get your, your feet wet, you're not gonna get very far. And you may be like, Right now, you may have no IT experience. You're not even on a help desk and you're just trying to get your CSENT, CCNA and get into that role. That's cool, I understand that you're doing the right thing, but you, you can find opportunities. I would, I would try to get on an IT, some sort of IT position as soon as possible because that's the fastest way to get onto a, a network engineering role. But there are other paths. I've heard of people like volunteering, helping out schools or um, companies who can't afford to pay I, 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 network admin staff. I've heard of things like that happening. Uh, so there's there's options. You just got to you got to work at it. So I can only really speak from my experience and the things I've heard from other guys. But um, for me, it took me six months to actually start doing work with Cisco stuff, and this was again working pretty hard on that. For um, I, I know guys who've gone through the Cisco Net Academy thing, and they'll complete that course and they'll get a job right out of the Net Academy. They have like these job situations set up, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I mean, a big part of it is just if you want to if you want to get into networking, you got to network. And what I mean by that is you've, it's really about who you know. You ask anyone who's very successful in IT, um, they'll tell you that a large part of being successful is who you know. So do your best to find some networking events. You know, they've, they've got the Cisco users group in certain cities. Uh, look it up. They might have one there in your city. Meet with fellow uh, Cisco guys who, who might want to offer a lending hand. You never know. Get into forums. Uh, network Chuck. You know, we, we've got people commenting below. We've got our Facebook group. I mean, this is networking. You never know who you're gonna meet and, and you never know when that door is gonna open. So how fast do you become a network engineer? 
there are a lot of factors involved in that, but the biggest factor is you. How hard are you working towards that goal? Well, anyways, guys, I hope this like was encouraging to you. I know it, for some it might be like, ah, I'm really trying hard, Chuck. I'm really trying to get there. I understand that. And if you have any questions, leave me some comments below. I'm, I'm willing to help out. I've been through a lot of this. I've helped other guys get into it as well. Uh, so just let me know. But I hope this has been encouraging to you. And uh, again, I'm giving away five of David Bomble's CCNA Packet Tracer Lab courses. You know, guys, again, we're pretty close to Christmas. So five, no, we're not gonna do five today. Today, we're gonna do 20. Giving away 20 of the CCNA Packet Tracer courses. Uh, if you wanna enter, um, please, first of all, if you've already won, please don't enter again. Why do you need another one? So if you haven't already won, and you want to enter to win this Packet Tracer course, there's a link below. It'll take you to a page to um, enter and go from there. Anyways, thanks guys. And Merry Christmas, we're almost done. That's about it, and of course, like I said before, to be a winner, you've got to um, be a subscriber of both Network Chuck and David Bombel's channel, which you can check out below. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for sticking with me, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna see you tomorrow.